Greetings, and thank you for coming to support us by watching today's video. If you would like to support us even more, you can do so by clicking on the like button, posting a comment down below, and of course, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alright, we're all done with the rendering, so now let's do what Anna asked us to do, and go towards the promenade, which can be accessed through Plaza 99. So, she's over at North Promenade. That's the right. <laughs> yeah, I can even speak with, like, Tama, too. But yeah, our person of interest is going to be within the oh, promenade, which wow. is where the cafe was. She's so tiny. Is she, a? Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? Well, let's talk to this person. Oh. <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... <laughs> Maybe too quiet. So who are the you? Oh, yeah. you can call me Chocolate! <laughs> Yes, and she is a woman of particular interest. And enthusiasm, too. I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocopoco Cheese! Yeah, so she is essentially our vendor in this game. But a lot of the stuff she has is too expensive for us right now, but... She has pretty much every item that you would expect to find in any Final Fantasy game. Potions, Phoenix Downs, Antidotes, Eye Drops. Um, she also has unique things like Rememberbs, which removes Oblivion. Pick-me-ups, which removes Sleep. Smelling Salts, which removes Confusion. Wobble Stoppers, which completely stabilizes the Wobbling Stack. Poison Fang, which is an, attack or an I attacking item. As is Dream Powder, Loco Weed, Flash Bombs, War Gongs. Lethian chimes, and so that's what she offers right now. But we're not going to be able to use it at any at stuff for now. It's called a shop, dear. Yeah. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your but not point C. All right. Well, we'll get the opportunity to talk to her later. So on our way back. Uh oh. Show that yourself, Seraphy. I didn't know it was you. Say what? You had it coming. You know when you. Yeah, we got a fairy. You should have woke me up too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh hi, I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphy. <laughs> Who talks with the complete deadpan voice? Let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Yeah, we have to get them all back. You'll have scabs of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? <laughs> this pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk Is that so? And you yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of nine wood hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. She sounds like I'm an so infomercial sure voice, doesn't she? Every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh yeah. This prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treated with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. <laughs> okay. Catch. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Yes, she is. But yeah, she's in essence our storage unit. And we also got a silk prismarium. 
a tiny wind pixie that makes home in its home in forests and other places of natural beauty. The sylphs are good friends of Seraphy. In fact, she sometimes meets up with them to play cards and gossip. So be sure to treat them with the same boundless affection Seraphy expects you to feel for her. We will use the default name, of course. Yeah, but that one's got green hair. So now, let's go back to the park. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the Provided we don't step into any yes. more Murkrefts for a while. Now. Oh, okay, I the will! It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. <laughs> Where are you going now? Oh, well, somewhere else, of course. Yeah, that's not exactly very helpful. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? No, I guess not. You've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well... I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> Makes sense. You're bad at explaining. You're saying he doesn't need to. Because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? She's done a crow. Oh, well. I'm God. Yeah, so it's basically a female Morgan Freeman. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she yeah. seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's an crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna crow is Anna crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. <laughs> Thanks for clearing it up. To some extent. Alright, there we go. We'll go ahead and autosave again because the game is allowing us to do so. Which means another blue screen for you guys. And we're back up and running. Of course, you won't see these blue screens when I... Um, have the pre-recorded content up here. Alright, let's go back and through the gate. We're gonna travel. And go back to the Wellspring Woods. Because it's the only, the only option we have right now. And thus we've returned. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And yeah, it certainly did. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I want names. Before we do that, let's go ahead and show you Sylph. Now, unfortunately, we can't use Sylph right now because we already have two small um, mirages to be stacked on Rain and Lawn. We can, however, build up Tama, though. And Tama already has Foxfire and Libra unlocked. We can also raise other aspects, like her strength, her accuracy. Can't give her cure just yet, but if we were to give her, say, HP+, plus, then that gives us a path to get to cure. So it'll give us more options. Alright, I think we're all good to go, so let's do it. So now we're going back to the same path we did when we initially entered Grimoire. And we have our first outside fight. And we'll skip through the tutorial. Now, as you notice, this thing does not have... Actually, I think it does have the option to um, be prismed. Yeah, it can. Yeah, there are some enemies, though, that can't be put into a prism. This one can, though. So, we claim victory on it. Yeah, it has... I haven't played this since Extra Life, so... Obviously, it's... I'm not going to remember everything. And even your mirages outside of battle can also still gain experience. So we got Moo, 
A cute little forest animal. Or at least that's what it wants you to think. Then POW! A tail punch to the jaw! This mirage has nothing to do with the legendary continents. May or may not squeak moo when upset. And we'll use default. As always. So, let's move on. Another luster leaf there, Chokachik? Nope, this time it's a potion. Let's move on now. Because, yeah, now we'll be getting random, random encounters. And this time it's two moves. Let's speed things up a bit. Ooh, first crit hit of the, of the game and of the let's play. But this moves still on its feet. So we're gonna have to put in a little more effort to do away with him. But there he goes. We did it! Oh yeah! And so victory's ours. And the Choco Chick got a level. Plus we got 18 gil. Now once you one when you imprison an enemy, you do not get gil. You only get gill by defeating an enemy. So yeah, this time we're gonna walk past the Murkrift, right? Because, yeah, look at the warning for the experience level that says, Level 26. Now that you fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Yes, indeed. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? What do you think? Anyway, off we go. Time to venture deeper into Wellspring Woods. But before we do... Okay, here we go. I won't hold and now back. it's two Choco Chicks. But since we already have a, one imprisoned, we don't need to catch another one. So we'll have to, unfortunately, treat these chocobos the same way we would in the Dravanian Forelands in Final Fantasy XIV. And just smack the crap out of them. All right. All right. And so the outside mirages also now gain level. And we also got some Geisel Greens. I'll have to make sure to keep that in the video when the edited content goes up. So now, we officially have our intro screen. So yeah, I'll let you guys enjoy this one.
Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy So now that we have had our cinematic intro, and we have made it out of the woods... Is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. Let's find out why. Huh? Oh. Incoming! Huh. Yeah, this isn't just any train. But it certainly so, isn't the uh, Phantom Train from Final Fantasy you think VI. Are supposed to get on? Absolutely! I'll be aboard! Whoa, dude! Yeah, primarily because this train isn't going into a haunted forest. The Cactuar Express giant car. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you weren't seeing things. Uh, Hello there. <laughs> but why are they giggling? Oh, look, my needles. I don't know how long it's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? Huh? Yeah, say what? Right, tickets, yeah. please. <laughs> Say yikes. Yeah, we got a cactuar posing as the conductor. Oh, a mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so... Tickets, please. The conductor? Oh, all right. Well, if Tama can talk, then why not? But <laughs> the train tickets that we need are right there. Here. Check your pocket. Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. <laughs> Guess you were holding on to them, weren't you, Tama? Where did those tickets come from? In the Crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep! Uh, okay then. So why the semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? Exactly. Exactly there, Lon. Kind of as a head scratcher. But we're pulling into town. <laughs> yeah, not done yet. Yeah, we get to walk around in a town with a whole bunch of people that are tiny. That's a nice little town they got here. And there are a lot of references to the games from the past here in Cornelia. And of course we've already seen one with the Cactuars and some Final Fantasy 1 themed characters. This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Well, why do you think they call it Final Fantasy? Hey, Tama, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Huh? If oh, hello there. Would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <laughs> well, before we can answer... Yeah, we're under attack. Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Well... The Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages on their floor. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine. Sadly. To me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, Lon! <laughs> yeah, we're just charging headlong into battle again. All As you right, can you see, those guys you? are a bit huh? different. You even make it sound like they're made of beef. <laughs> yeah, Lon. Don't you know what's at stake? <laughs> anyway, it's time to fight these things. We gotta take them out. We got a goblin guard and two goblins. One's still standing, though. We have to go through three rounds of them kicking our butts. Yeah. 
And if you're wondering why I'm not imprisoning them, there is a reason why we can't. At least not yet. Alright, he's down. Don't worry, we'll get an opportunity to get guys like this later. But for now, it's our responsibility to just beat them up. Because, yeah, you'll see there was a demonstration of why we can't. Because, yeah, we tried to imprison that one, but couldn't. Because there was some an attempt was made on us. What just happened? Or made for us, I rather. To imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholding to another keeper. The what? B.O.? The smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. So yeah, they're indicated by those chains that are attached to them. Fire whoever wrote that little hook in. <laughs> Why? It's on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian <laughs> soldiers? But no, we're right on your side. Us, it's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. You do? Please. Well, tell us. May I speak with you? Huh? Please. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can shrink into your size too. Hey there, Tama. The two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Well, well, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm pretty much, yeah. Exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? So Very let's well. find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't it possibly <laughs> it's gotta be higher up. Well, you've uh, got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. But Indeed it was. Be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Yeah, she must be. Now let's make our way up, in. Guys? Yeah, we can't sure? go in Come until on. all the conversation is concluded, as you've noticed thus far. So we gotta let everyone speak their piece. Meanwhile, once inside... Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. So yes, she's in charge around here. You're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. <laughs> oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, you're welcome. I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, <laughs> you're so modest. <laughs> so, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. Please do, Your Majesty. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like, 
That mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure yeah. prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma uh -oh. found even the highest mind. The giants may reek to futures? Reek, huh? Oh man, Tama, this <laughs> you what? what are you even talking about? There's nothing more relevant than the way I smell. You think the dummy <laughs> Dumber than you! In front of royalty, seriously, there, you two. Come on. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So, the giants from the hills, as in Ninewood Hills, I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things. But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Yeah, Rain's just pondering into space while Lon and Tom are duking it out. This federation is really so terrible. Why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes uh, <laughs> Whoa. King Grandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. I'm yes, sure she was. But that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? How could you even think such a thing? It seem wise. But you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you've done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, indeed. What's going on out there? The only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages. Am I right? Oh, apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them, but somehow we lost them along with our memories. So we're hoping by getting the mirages back. We might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Indeed. We can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. <laughs> oh, how reassuring. If you insist upon going. Then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why just me? What did I do? Oh, you know. Anyway, we'll save our progress here.